DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. He back. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up the. Is it a sports talk? edition of primetime players on first take we're down to the top five of our countdown so you can see it right there on your screen we got into the top 10 last week as you can see james harden rounding out friday at number six it is now time for number five on the list so before the break we asked you 205 players in nba history have attempted at least 2,000 three pointers and this player is the most accurate of them all drum roll please the fifth player in our first take primetime players NBA ranking is Stephen Curry. Thoughts in my head or this should be another hot night. A two-time MVP and three-time NBA champion. Steph led the NBA and made three-pointers in five consecutive seasons. Curry, way down to the the six-time All-Star also led the NBA in scoring during the 2015-16 regular season. Steph Curry from downtown. Player number five. Warriors guard, Stephen Curry. Glad to be with you on this Memorial Day on First Take. Marcus Spears in for Stephen A. I'm in for Molly Karam Rose. See Kendrick Perkins joining us now and Max Kellerman, of course, as always. And we're thinking about all of the military families, those, of course, who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Thank you for your service. And as we continue our debates this morning, I want to start with you on this one, Max. Who's the better player, Steph or Harden? Steph Curry is an easy answer. Look, forget about choking in the playoffs, and Harden has a history of it, although Steph did <laughs> But you can go, Kerry, because you can see the big difference that he did for the Warriors. It's like he battled injuries his first little season with the Warriors. That's the time him and Monte Ellis was the backcourt together. And once he got fully healthy, they went ahead and shipped Monte Ellis off and start being around Stephen Curry. And once they did that and did a focus on him, and then they drafted Clay to go along with him. But he changed that organization so much and helped that organization get a championship. That's when they brought in Harrison Barnes to be around him. Boga to be around him. And they and Lee, they they, they put so much around him to build around him. And he the face of that franchise. And that's why they did it. He helped them win a championship. They won one since, I think, 73. And once they made him the focal point of that organization, and look at the big difference he did for them. Like they put up three banisters with him. And, and they surround him with better players and change everything once he came the focal point of this organization. Now, he put banisters up in the rafters for them. Little, too, he came around in this last postseason, but he was part of, he was the conductor of a, of a colossal choke, you know, zero points in the greatest half-court offense conducted by Steph in the, in the last five minutes of the fourth quarter in a game seven at home to try to get to a, 70, a 73 win to a championship, team to a championship. That was bad by Steph. And, and Harden has had moments like that too, by the way, and more of them in the playoffs. But let's, I'm, even gonna, I'm not even going to have to go to clutch performance in the playoffs to decide this one. Look, Mike D'Antoni can make a nice player like Jeremy Lin look like an all-star, a great player like Steve Nash look like an MVP, and a legit great player like James Harden look like an all-time great. In D'Antoni... But you, James Harden make a big difference for Houston as well. Because he came with the bench for the Thunder. And he was a six-man for them. And he was so dominant when he wasn't starting. And once he couldn't get that deal from the Thunder, they shipped him to Houston. When he got to Houston, he was out of 50 points. The first game with them. And then it was his team. And you see him take off and start winning MVPs. He made a big difference for Houston as well. Minus when he get to the playoffs because he be gassed.
because he do so much in the regular season. But he made a big difference for Houston as well. System, James Harden is putting up Steph Curry numbers. I mean, he's leading the league in scoring, in a, but, but he is, there's no higher usage rate than the primary ball handler in the D'Antoni system. Of course his stats were going to be goose. That's what was going to happen. And it's not that he's not a terrific player. He is a terrific player, but he ain't Steph Curry. Well, could you imagine if Steph Curry ran a, Dan, ran a D'Antoni system? But Steph is just a more accurate shooter than James Harden. Fury. Well, let's talk about what Steph's in the, in the conversation for all-time best. He's one of the best handles you've ever seen. And he's the greatest. It's depending like who you put around your players. Steph Curry had a team. He had the players around him. From Iguodala, Harrison Barnes, Kevin Durant, Clay, uh, he has so, Livingston, he has so many players around him to help him win a championship. Yes, he won arguably the best shooters all time. Yes, he helped change that organization, but they put more around him. James Harden, he had the white hire, but he had a player that wanted to be the man and had more touches. He had a difficulty with him. And then they put Chris Paul around him. That didn't work also. It almost worked. They almost had the Warriors. Chris Paul got hurt. And then they didn't see eye to eye. They had head on collision. They put the players around him, but then he always bump heads with them players. And but Steph had more around him to be able to help the uplift the Warriors to win championships. Shooter of all time, and that is a deadly combination. Then you add in the fact the kind of culture that he helps create, the fact that he can get all his points and do all that with the ball not sticking with him. It's not like he's a black hole, that's it, everyone else is standing around. The ball doesn't stick with Steph Curry of all the superstars. It sticks with him by far the least. Unlike James Harden, I'm not just talking about assist number, guys. I'm talking about hockey assists. I'm talking about moving the ball. Steph is just better. So if Steph had the usage rate for a coach like D'Antoni, we wouldn't even be arguing this. But as is, apparently we have to. Of course, Steph is better than James Harden. That's why all three of us would take him to start a team before we took Harden. No, he's not. And no, we wouldn't. Because I wouldn't. I'd take James Harden to start a team over Steph Curry. Steph Curry has limitations. They're obvious. He has limitations. James Harden is a better scorer than Steph Curry is. Now, you want to talk about shooting, that's obvious. But if I need somebody to get me buckets, it's going to be James Harden before I get give Steph Curry the opportunity to get buckets. You think about that Tony system. So, do we do we um, accumulate that with every great player? Do we say Jordan ain't Jordan without Phil? Or Kobe ain't Kobe without Phil? Or, or you put any great player in a situation with a great coach, it's going to highlight their talent. That's what coaching is. James Harden is doing I, I understand usage and all of that. But don't you think the other teams know that? Don't you think coming in night out that every defense that James Harden is playing against knows that the ball is going to stick with him? And oh, by the way, he's averaged more assists. You know what else he's done? He's outperformed Steph Curry in the series that they played each other when you talk about points per game. Look, taking nothing away, they're both great players. I played basketball and I don't want to get all into that. I'm going to tell you what I see in my eyes as a fan. If I need a bucket getter, and I say, out of these two basketball players, who's the best? Matt's going to go with him because he won championships. Harden didn't win championships um, with Houston yet. He didn't get them to a finals yet. Steph got to the finals. And that's the big difference between them two. That's how Matt's probably looking at it. One that you think it is is James Harden for me, based on everything that he does. With the money in the line, he can dribble it, facilitate it. Not just shooting, Max. I'm talking about a game. I need this guy over a long period of time to perform at a high level.